Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a stitch pattern called, um, that I'm calling the uh, raspberry rib stitch, and it's based off of just knits and pearls, and um, what it is, is it's a, it's a rib stitch where you are going along and you're doing a little a thing of, of knit and pearls so that when it's done it looks like little raspberries in between okay and then you have single rows of pearl okay so what I'm going to explain to you is that every fourth peg will be a pearl and you'll want to mark it if you're doing it flat or circularly every fourth peg will be a pearl Okay, I'm going to show how you. I'm going to show how you knit this flat, but I will put a link below that explains what it is written now. If you're doing it circularly or you're doing it flat, this is a pattern, the stitch pattern that is an eight row. It's an eight peg set with twelve rows to complete the stitch patterning. Okay, what I've done is I've set my loom up on three sets of eight okay and I will show you the three sets of eight all right what I'm done is if you're doing a cast on you'll probably be end up starting here okay I did a double wrap cast on if you do a straight normal e-wrap cast on you'll end up there um, but you're you're generally going to end up here after you do your cast on okay so if I'm doing every fourth peg is a pearl then you'll see that okay so one two three pearl you'll see that there is showing a pearl and you want to stay consistently with that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this 12 row set and you want to do it in increments of eight I'm using a 48 peg 3 8 inch gauge Cindy Wood loom um, but it's not going to very much if you're doing it circularly and I will provide a chart in the blog link below that shows what knits and pearls there are and also the written for flat and circular so you have an idea so let's get started because I'm doing the exact number of eight I'm going to be starting off with three knits so one, two, three. There's your fourth peg. You're going to purl it. Okay. Knit three. One, two, three, and purl it. That is your first set of eight. That is the part that you repeat over and over again. Okay, so we're going to finish up my three sets. So one, two, three, purl the fourth. One, two, three, purl the fourth. One, Two, three, purl the fourth, and one, two, three, purl the fourth. This is row one. Okay, because we want to keep it consistent. We're going to start with a pearl because that was the last thing we finished. Because we're doing it flat. Now if you're doing it circular, you can just go right to knit three, pearl one. But because we're doing it flat and we ended with a pearl, we need to start with a pearl. So keep that in mind, which is the reason why I'm doing this flat rather than circular. Because there's a little bit more to remember when it comes to knitting this flat. Okay, so starting on row two, this is... The first peg is to purl, knit three, one, 
two, three, knit one, I mean purl one, knit three, two, three. All right, so that is your first eight pegs. That's your second row, and you repeat that over and over again, okay? And I will finish the set for you. So purl one, knit three, one, two, three. 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 Okay, that is our second row. We're going to start on our third row, and this is where it's going to start adding in your raspberry. Okay, so you're going to knit three, two, three, purl, two. There's one, and there's two. Then you're going to knit one, and then you're going to purl two. Now that is your third row on your eight set. You will repeat that over and over again. All right, so I'm going to finish my three sets of eight here. So I'm going to knit three, one, two, three, purl two, one, two, knit one, purl two, one, two, and repeat again, knit three, two, three, then you're going to purl two, knit one, purl two. Okay, that was row three. Now we're going to start on row four. You're going to purl the first one. Then you're going to knit, purl, knit, purl, then knit three. And this is what you repeat over and over again. Here's your eight stitches. So we're going to finish out the set and do two more. So we're going to do purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, knit, knit. Then you're going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit, knit, knit. All right, we're going to go and start on row five. We're going to knit three, then we're going to purl two, one. 
two, knit one, purl, two, and that is your fifth row on your set. And you repeat that over and over again, but we're going to finish up my three sets of eight. So we're going to go knit three, purl two, knit one, purl two, Starting into the last set of eight, knit three, purl two, knit one, purl two. Okay, this is row six of our 12 row set, so we're at the halfway point. So what you're going to do is you're going to purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit three, one, two, three. And then you repeat that over and over again. And that's your eight row set on your sixth row. Okay. We're going to finish our last two eight row sets and we'll go from there. So we're going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, then knit, knit, knit. Last set, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, knit, knit. knit. All right. We've met our halfway point. Now let's finish this up. This is row seven. So we're going to knit three. One, two, three, and purl the fourth. Knit three. One, two, three, and purl the fourth. You can repeat this over and over again as your seventh row. We're going to finish up. So one, two, three, purl one. One, two, three, purl one. One, two, three, purl one, and one, two, three, purl one. Okay. Now we're on to row eight. You're going to purl one, knit three, one, two, three, purl one, knit three, one, two, three. I'm going to repeat that set over and over again for row eight. Let's finish up our other two sets. Purl one, 
knit three. One, two, three. Purl one, knit three. One, two, three. Purl one, knit three. One, two, This is where we're staggering our raspberry. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with a purl. Knit one. Purl two. Knit three. One. this set here over and over again as your ninth row okay so let's finish our sets purl one knit one purl two one two Knit three, one, two, three. Purl one, that completes the next set. Let's go to the next set. Purl one, knit one, purl two, Knit three, purl one. Now we're moving into our tenth row. So you're going to purl one, knit three, purl one. Knit one, purl one, knit one. Okay, that's your first, that's your eight row set, one row ten, and you repeat that over and over again. So let's continue. Purl one, knit three. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Let's finish our last set. Purl, knit three, two, three, purl, knit, purl. Here's row 11. We're going to purl, knit, purl two, Knit three, one, two, three, and purl one. That is your row eleven, eight row, I mean your eight stitch set. You repeat that over and over again, but let's continue and finish up our last two sets. 
pro one, knit one, purl two, knit three, purl one, that's your second set of eight. Let's finish our last set of eight. So purl one, knit one, purl two, knit three, purl one. This is our last row of this stitch pattern. And what you're going to do is you're going to purl one, knit three, two, three, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. And that is your eighth stitch set that you will repeat over and over on row 12. So let's continue. Purl one, knit three, one, two, three. Purl one, knit one, Purl one, knit one, and then we're starting the last set. Purl one, knit three, purl one, knit one, purl one. And that is what you do in your 12 row set. And as you can see, you're getting little patches, your little raspberries right through here, see? And this is a really nice stitch for a hat. It is going to lay flat because it is a rib stitch. Okay. Again, in the below info box, I will provide a link that will show the chart for this, the written for flat and for circular as to how to go in and make this stitch if you wanted to turn it into a hat which I think it would look lovely for a hat or for um, sock cuffs or anything along those lines. So um, I hope this was informative and that this opened your eyes to something fun to maybe try in a future pattern.